welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. Today's video is a meal prep challenge. So I did a week's worth of meals for $50. That was a price point that most of you guys said when I asked you on my community tab, which if you haven't checked that out, I do post questions in there, what you guys wanna see and you guys can vote and things like that. So don't miss out. So my total came to $53.14, which I think is pretty good. Uh, I also bought things that would last more than a week. So like the cashew milk, the peanut butter and things like that will last you more than a week, which is good. So it would even be less than this. Also keep in mind that I do live downtown Toronto in Canada where prices of things are more expensive than they would be in other parts of the country, but also in other countries. I know when I go to the States, things there are a lot less expensive, produce, meat, and things like that. Um, and I also wanted to keep it true to how I would eat because I'm going to be eating these meals for the next week. So I did buy free range eggs and organic antibiotic free chicken because that's how I eat. So yeah, let's head into the meal prep. And if you haven't yet, make sure to hit that red subscribe button. So the first breakfast option is this egg bake with a side of sweet potatoes. I'm starting off by slicing up a sweet potato. I love sweet potato in the morning because it's a great complex carb. It's going to give you energy for the day. And I'm seasoning that with a little bit of avocado oil and some rosemary. Now I didn't include the spices in the oils as like the meal prep budget because those are things you generally have on hand. And if you don't have these spices on hand, you can use whatever spices that you like. So a little bit of rosemary, a little bit of garlic, and then a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. And then just tossing that together. I like using avocado oil for roasting above 350 because it has a higher smoke point, so it's not going to denature. I just put that on my silicone baking sheet, shake it out so that it's one even layer, and pop those in the oven. Next up, we're going to make the egg bake. So I'm using free range eggs. Free range eggs are better because they have more nutritional value than ones that aren't. So the higher omega 3s, higher amounts of vitamins and minerals. So I'm cracking a bunch into here because we are going to make this for four days worth. Um, um, so I chose to have the egg week for four days and then the second breakfast for three days. So I'm using eight eggs in total and I'm just whisking that together until you get everything nice and smooth. And then I'm putting in just a little bit of garlic powder for seasoning and whisking that through so that there is some flavor. But like I said, use whatever spices that you have on hand. Then I steamed a little bit of spinach to add into the egg bake a little bit beforehand because I find if you add the spinach raw inside, sometimes it doesn't wilt down enough and just basically taste as good. So I like to steam it briefly first and then put it in the egg bake. And you can definitely add any kind of veggies that you have on hand or even leftover veggies. That's what I love to do if I have leftover veggies also, which is a great hack for any kind of meal prep and using veggies that you already have on hand is throwing old veggies just into this egg bake and baking it. So once that's done, you have your egg bake and your sweet potatoes. And this was the cost for three meals. So $8.94. The second breakfast is a pumpkin smoothie, so it's a fruit-free smoothie. I'm starting off by prepping some frozen cauliflower by steaming it and freezing it to have it on hand for the mornings. So that way, that morning, I just added in some pumpkin, some ginger, as well as some peanut butter. So I did include the price of a new jar of peanut butter into this meal prep, but you would have it for more than one week, which is great. Then I'm adding in some cinnamon, some great warming spices. Both the cinnamon and the ginger are great for when it gets more fall because they're great for your immune system, antimicrobials, antibacterials, and really going to strengthen. And then some nut milk. And you blend that all together and you have this wonderful fall smoothie. It's going to balance your blood sugar. It's got protein, fiber, healthy fats. It's so delicious. This one came to $11.21 for three smoothies. But like I said, the milk and the peanut butter will last more than one week. For the first lunch option, I'm making this kind of golden milk lentil curry stew. So I'm seasoning a pan with some garlic and some avocado oil, and we're going to cook that. I'm adding in a cup of lentils. Lentils are great because they're high in iron, um, and they're really inexpensive. I got a bag for $2, and I'm only using half of it for this recipe. I'm adding in some turmeric, some ginger, again, warming spices that are great anti-inflammatories. And then I just bought these crumbled vegetables, or basically riced veggies that are going to go on the side of this. You'll know when it's done, when all the water kind of absorbs in the lentils. And then I'm adding in the thick part of the can of coconut milk, and it's going to make it nice and creamy and delicious. And it also helps to make it very filling as well. And it 
turn this beautiful yellow curried color and like I said the coconut milk is key because those healthy fats are really gonna help you feel satisfied and it's kind of gonna blunt the blood sugar spike that you get from the carbohydrates of the lentils so I'm spooning that on the top and there you go you have your riced veggies with your nice curried lentils on the top it tastes so delicious and makes a great easy meal prep for the second lunch, it's going to be another vegetarian option, and I just bought some frozen veggies. What's great about frozen veggies is that they're actually frozen at their peak ripeness, so they have a lot of nutritional value, and it's kind of a great way to buy them inexpensively as well. I'm adding in a can of chickpeas as well as some fresh ginger. This is some of the ginger that I got from the smoothie, so I'm really trying to use the ingredients that I bought in multiple things in multiple ways so that you guys don't have to buy a million things, but you can use the things you bought in many different ways. So seasoning it and then I'm just tossing that together and we're going to be roasting it in the oven So it basically turns into roasted chickpeas with veggies a nice simple hearty dish We've got protein. We've got veggies We've got fats and fiber and it's gonna be in a really nice simple warm dish that really meal preps Well because you can make this in advance and store it in the fridge for the first dinner We are making a plant-based bolognese. So I would use a spaghetti squash. You could also use zoodles here, but spaghetti squash is really fun and easy and inexpensive. I got this whole one for a dollar and 34 cents, which was crazy. So you're going to slice that in half. It can be a bit difficult, so be careful. And then I'm just scooping out the seeds and spaghetti squash. Like I said, because it's in season, I always buy things in season when I'm meal prepping because that way you're going to save money and you're going to be able to diversify your diet based on what's in season. So I'm taking a pan, a little bit of olive oil and garlic. Again, the seasonings and the garlic are just things that I had on hand that I didn't include in the meal prep. I'm adding in the other half of the lentils from the bag that I bought that we made the lunch curry. And I'm adding in some strained tomatoes. This is a great hack to kind of make your own sauce because strained tomatoes are very inexpensive. It was $1.99 for the whole jar versus buying sauce. And then you can just season it with how you like. So I'm using rosemary, oregano, basil, kind of whatever you have. And it's a great way to make sauce inexpensively. And that I like that I use the lentils on different things. Now I would have the lentil lunch option on a different day that I had the dinner option with the lentils. So you kind of mix it up, but you get lentils used in different ways so you're not getting tired of the lentils and it's a completely different flavor. Then all you have to do when your spaghetti squash is ready is use a fork and it kind of turns into these pasta like ribbons and it's super easy to do as well because you just plop them down and then scrape it with a fork and it's all very filling as well. A nice complex carbohydrate that really complements the lentil kind of bolognese and it's plant based too which is really cool. So you scoop some of that on the top and you got your spaghetti squash and this. And now this made three meals for me so I would have this three nights of the week. And it turned out to be $4.32 because I didn't include the spices. It was lentils, tomatoes, and squash. Super easy. And then our final dinner option is the most expensive one. And I'm using some organic ground chicken. And I'm going to be adding some salt seasoning. I like this one because it just has everything in it. That's why I like it. You guys have seen me talk about this one before. But it's really easy because you have everything in it. You can use every kind of spices that you like. And just toss that in. And then I'm making little meatball shapes. Now I'm calling this meatballs even though I'm not adding in egg and breadcrumbs. Because honestly, you don't even need them. I just shape them into balls because that way it's easy to incorporate it into meals. You can also make this into three or four burger patties as well. Um, but like I said, I like the balls. So I'm just making those into little ball shapes. And we're going to be baking them in the oven so that it's really simple and really easy. So while those are baking, so I start those off baking first, I'm going to prep the asparagus. Again, asparagus was on sale for me this week, so I got this for like $2.19 for this whole big batch. Halfway through, you fold over the chicken meatballs, and then we're going to be adding in our veggies to cook with it for the second half. So I want to make this simple. It's one sheet pan. You cook the chicken for a bit, take it out, add the veggies, you're going to put it back in, and it's going to be easy. Again, I season with a lot of the same things. I love garlic. It's an antifungal, antimicrobial, antibacterial. So good for you. Toss that up, and then I'm adding in some butternut squash. This was frozen and cubed already for me, which I liked. Um, and frozen is really inexpensive as well. 
well, a little bit of Himalayan salt, and we call it a day. So this one was the most expensive at $15.17, um, but it was another one that's not plant-based, so it is a meat option, and I do buy organic because you don't want those hormones and everything, but we still got a really great budget, $15 for like four meals. So I hope you guys enjoyed this meal prep and got some inspiration. If you guys want a different budget um, or even lower, I'm up for the challenge. So if you want a lower budget, let me know down below and I will try to do that as well. This was a challenge, I will admit. Um, I was pretty proud of myself when I left the grocery store um, that I got it like less than 50, basically less than $50 because things last a couple weeks. Um, but if you want a smaller budget, I will try hard. It just may be more of a vegetarian uh, meal prep. So I hope you guys are all having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.